I'm Mr. Verde. Nicely done. You know, wigs and fake mustaches are a big part of Channel 101. Let's go ahead and take a... Let's give it... Let's go ahead and look at the art behind them. We went back and forth for a real long time about mustaches, and we couldn't come up with a single reason why not. The tape is absolutely clear. This pretzel is nice and fried. This changes everything. You notice that a lot of people in real life have mustaches, so we figured, let's... It's right. a fact-based show. You have a mustache, which is a true, real thing. And then what a fake mustache is trying to do is be a representation of that. Right. And what I'm trying to do with a pen is to create a representation of that representation. Yeah, but without collapsing the difference and drawing a real mustache. Originally, Mr. Glasses did have a mustache. Uh, we had shot the entire thing, and we ended up CGIing a mustache in from beginning to end because we couldn't afford uh, a real fake mustache. Hello, my name is Mr. Glasses, and I'm an architect. We brought it to a couple of festivals on the West Coast, and it, it bombed, and it sank. And people, it was the mustache that people commented on. So we ended up going back and taking out the mustache. Hello, my name is Mr. Glasses. And, and the funny thing is that it was much more money to take out the mustache than it was to ever put the mustache in. I was an actor on the Paul Bunyan show. <laughs> I was shooting for about a year. Most of that time was spent on the beards. Um, we went through a few models. This was an early prototype. This actually looks like a beard in real life, but on camera, it reads as a plastic bag. You have a classic Santa Claus beard? This is actually Burt Reynolds' beard. We got it on eBay. Um, we actually spent months uh, growing, those, growing beards for the Paul Bunyan shoot, um, and we didn't like the effect. They didn't really read on camera. We ended up buying some fake beards, and they look just as good. The show is a failure. Uh, no. No wigs. Don't you know what a vagina looks like? Wigs would, you know, detract too much from the uh, important nature of the thing, so, you know, we decided to go without it. I have hair, actually, that grows very quickly. Um, I mean, some people would say I, I dyed a little bit, you know, that's not even true. Again, again. Uh, we didn't use any wigs. No. This bloodshed has to end. Can we just drop it about the wigs? Yeah. Am I wearing a wig right now? Is this, you're asking me if this is a wig. What the this fuck do you guys know about hair? You know what? Let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck this. And fuck you. Why won't you talk about the wigs? Just shut up! As a Channel 101 creator, I'm always after that elusive Burt Reynolds effect. Burt Reynolds effect is when you are lifting weights in your rec room. When you see a Burt Reynolds movie, he transcends. He's, he yeah. just, it's like watching pure essence of man. If you have music on, it's going to be Eye of the Tiger. And if you have a, an image that you're looking at, it's going to be a cannonball run. Have you ever seen a lion just eat an entire antelope? It's a raw sexuality. I don't even know who Burt Reynolds is. I don't care if you're a fucking jerk off or if you're a fucking cool dude. It's gonna be the exact same. That feeling like if you've been at the library too long. Yeah. I'm not really bald, did you know that? I'm not flirting with you right now, I'm just saying it. Yeah. I mean, what is your penis but a mustache for your balls? I know about the Dom DeLuise effect. That's where you, uh, I think you eat five hot dogs and hit Jackie Chan with a car. That was great. Thank yeah. you, thank you All so right. much. Good night. Hey. Oh. And that's movie magic. Ooh.